everyone. Welcome back to our English learning podcast. I'm your favorite friend, and today we're going to dive into something a bit more challenging. This is episode 46, and we're leveling up to level four. So if you've been following along, you know what to expect. Simple English, but we're turning up the heat just a little. Ready? Let's go. Now, learning English is a journey, isn't it? Some days it feels like you're cruising down a smooth highway. Other days it's more like trying to drive through a jungle. I remember when I was learning English. Yes, even I had to learn it. And I had this moment where I mixed up two words. I was at a restaurant trying to impress my friends, and I wanted to ask for a dessert menu. But instead, I asked for a desert menu. The waiter looked at me like I was crazy and said, Are you sure you want a desert? It's pretty dry out there. My friends laughed, and I wanted to disappear into that desert I just ordered. Has anything like that ever happened to you? It's okay if it has. We've all been there. Speaking of deserts and desserts, do you know the difference between the two? It's all in the pronunciation. Desert is a dry, sandy place, while dessert is the sweet treat you get after a meal. Remember this, you always want more of the sweet stuff, right? That's why dessert has an extra S, because you want seconds. Little tricks like this can really help when you're learning a new language. Do you have any tricks that help you remember English words? I'd love to hear them. Now, let's talk about something we all love. Traveling. Who doesn't love to travel? Whether it's a quick weekend getaway or a long vacation, there's something exciting about packing your bags and heading somewhere new. But have you ever traveled to a place where you didn't speak the language? It's an adventure, to say the least. I once went to Paris and thought I could get by with just a few phrases in French. Boy, was I wrong. I ended up asking for directions to the Louvre and instead got sent to a grocery store. It wasn't until I saw the baguettes and cheese that I realized something was off. It turns out my French wasn't as good as I thought. Have you ever found yourself in a similar situation? So why am I telling you this? Well, learning English, or any language, is a lot like traveling. Sometimes you know exactly where you're going, and other times you might take a wrong turn. But that's okay. The important thing is to keep going, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep having fun. If you make a mistake, laugh it off and keep moving forward. What's the funniest mistake you've made while learning English? I bet it's a good story. Let's switch gears a bit and talk about something that's often overlooked but incredibly important. Listening. Yes, listening. We all love to talk, but how many of us are good listeners? Listening is key when learning a new language. It helps you pick up the rhythm, the tone, and the nuances that make English so unique. Have you ever noticed how some words sound different depending on who says them? It's fascinating. For example, Americans and Brits might both speak English, but sometimes it feels like they're speaking two different languages, right? Here's a fun exercise for you. Next time you're watching a movie or listening to a song in English, try to focus on the accent. Can you tell if the speaker is from the US, the UK, Australia, or somewhere else? It's like a game, and the more you play, the better you'll get at recognizing different accents. Speaking of accents, do you have a favorite? I think the Irish accent is pretty charming, don't you? Let's move on to another topic. Expressions. English is full of weird and wonderful expressions. Some of them make sense, and some... Well, some make you wonder who came up with them in the first place. For example, have you ever heard the expression, It's raining cats and dogs. 
It means it's raining really hard, but can you imagine if it actually rained cats and dogs? That would be chaos. What's your favorite English expression? Or better yet, what's the most confusing one you've heard? Here's a little challenge for you. Try using an English expression in a conversation today. It might feel strange at first, but the more you use them, the more natural they'll become. And don't worry if you get it wrong. That's part of the learning process. Remember, I once ordered a desert instead of dessert. So you're in good company. Hey, now, let's talk about a serious topic. Confidence. Confidence is key when learning English. It's easy to get discouraged, especially when you make mistakes. But remember, every mistake is a learning opportunity. Think of it this way. Each mistake you make is one step closer to fluency. So don't be afraid to speak up, even if you're not sure you're saying the right thing. What's the worst that can happen? Someone might correct you, and then you've learned something new. That's a win-win, right? I have a little exercise for you. The next time you're speaking English, whether it's with a friend, in a class, or even just talking to yourself in the mirror, try to speak with confidence. Pretend you're an actor playing a role. How does that character speak? How do they hold themselves? You might be surprised at how much this can help, and who knows, you might discover that you have a hidden talent for acting. Before we wrap up, let's do a quick recap. Today, we talked about the journey of learning English, the importance of listening, the fun of playing with accents, and the power of confidence. Remember, learning English is a marathon, not a sprint. Take your time, enjoy the process, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. After all, mistakes are just proof that you're trying, and trying is what it's all about. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that you're feeling a bit more confident in your English skills. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get. And most importantly, keep having fun with it. Learning a new language is one of the most rewarding things you can do. So don't give up. Keep going, and I promise you'll get there. Thank you so much for listening today. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you have any funny English learning stories, tips, or questions, I'd love to hear them. You can reach out to me via comments. Until next time, keep learning, keep laughing, and keep speaking English. Bye for now.